My name is Rosie Papazian. I am the program manager for New Economics for Women Economic Mobility Program. There are many types of mortgage products for you to choose from. There is a fixed rate mortgage, adjustable rate mortgage, and an interest only mortgage. As a first time buyer, we always recommend for you to go with a fixed rate mortgage which means that your principal and interest payment will never change. It will remain the same for the term of your mortgage, be it 15 years or 30 years. If you are thinking of doing an adjustable rate mortgage, that would be a better option if you're thinking of being in the house short term. An adjustable rate mortgage has an adjustable interest that will adjust every so often depending on the terms of your loan. We do not recommend this for first time buyers. It would be a good option to do an adjustable rate mortgage if you are thinking of buying this home as an investment or to sell this home in the next five years. An interest only mortgage would be a good option for somebody who's looking to flip a home within the next six months to a year as the payments will only go towards interest, not principal. This is not a good option for somebody who's looking to stay in the home long term if you were to choose an interest only product, you will have a balloon payment after the, a certain term in your mortgage. This is not a good option for a first time buyer. When you begin shopping for a mortgage loan, there are a couple of questions that you should ask the loan officer that you are applying your mortgage with. One of them being, what is your minimum credit score requirement? And the reason why you wanna ask this question is because you wanna make sure that you meet the minimum credit requirement to be able to qualify for the loan. The second question that you wanna ask is, is your interest rate dependent on my credit score? Depending on the financial institution that you choose to work with, you may not qualify or they may place you in another mortgage product with a higher than market interest rate because you have a lower credit score. When you are thinking of purchasing a home, there are a couple of questions that you should ask yourselves in order to assess whether you are in fact ready to purchase. The most important being, do I have the sufficient savings to cover my down payment, closing costs, and other costs associated with purchasing a home, such as inspector fees or appraisal fees. The other is, do I earn enough income to pay for a mortgage while also maintaining my other financial responsibilities? Lastly, are my monthly debts low and manageable? If you are thinking of refinancing your home, make sure you understand that you are applying for a mortgage all over again, and therefore your debts and your income have to be manageable in order for you to qualify for the mortgage loan. If you initially purchased your home with an FHA mortgage or a conventional mortgage with private mortgage insurance or mortgage insurance, refinancing would be a good option to remove these extra costs in order to make your mortgage payment more affordable. There is a misconception amongst first time buyers that you need 20% down in order to purchase a home. This is not true. There are different down payment requirements depending on the mortgage product. There are mortgage products that require as little as 1% down, 3% or 5% down. We recommend that you visit a HUD approved housing counseling agency first in order for you to find out what mortgage products are available to you with down payment requirements lower than 20%.